Welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about the embryology and the development of the placenta. A placenta is an organ with multifunctions. It serves as a door between the fetus and the mother. The placenta first develops very quickly in the first three months, and then it slows down after the fourth month. Once fully developed, it resembles a spongy disc, which is about 20 cm in length and 3 cm in width. It also has vessels emerging from the middle of it. A placenta is considered a temporary organ, and it has the genetic material of the developing fetus, which is why many testing can be done by taking samples of the placenta. A CVS, or chorionic villus sampling, is inserting a needle to take a sample of the developing placenta at around the week number 10 to week number 13. This gives us highly informative genetic testing. We do this test because it's very sensitive and it can be done very early in pregnancy. The alternative is amniocentesis, which is taking a small sample of the amniotic fluid, but this cannot be done very early. It requires the fetus being there for at least 15 weeks. There are many pathologies associated with the placenta, like placental rupture, and this can be fatal. Placenta previa, which is a low-lying placenta that lies over the, the cervix. And placenta accreta, which is a placenta that integrates itself deep into the wall of the uterus. And here's a small quiz. Which of the following is a common cause of placenta rupture? And the answer is smoking during pregnancy. Alright guys, that's all I have and thank you so much for watching.